Hey guys, this is gonna be the first video, like the first two we're coming to do. Home Fitness now. This, all you need are, is a box art, it's your body weight. You're going to do four to five rounds of this. It's pretty intense. Actually, sometimes it's just as a warm up. Or say, I'm not feeling well, I'll just do this. First, is for your quads and hamstrings. Body weight squats. You can see, I'm breaking the 90 degree angle. You're going to do 10 reps. Okay, you get your hamstrings. Good. Now, after that, you want to do some calf raises. If I want to hold on to them, I'm going to do about 15 minutes of this. Now, you just hit your entire lower body. Now we're going to go for our face to our chest. Now, you can do 10 push-ups. Now, if you cannot do push-ups, you can modify it. You gotta keep your knees behind your back. But if you can do an actual push up, then do as many as you can. Go up to 10. You're gonna have your arms a bit more wide distance. And you can put down 20. That targets your chest, it also hits your shoulders and your triceps. Now, you want to hit your upper back. So you do wide push ups. These are a whole, these are a bit easier. And they definitely your upper back and your lats. <laughs> Up. And really, now you can work your shoulders and your shoulder width. Um, you're probably going to start feeling you can need to modify. I'll do the last two more to modify. That's why I said you can modify it, because you're doing four to five rounds. Now, yeah, if you can keep up doing it, you're strong enough, you can do it. If you do it completely, I'll make it for you to the strong ass back. But just really beginner work to beginner intermediate people who don't, like, who don't, who are not able to access the gym. Now, the last workout that it is is to meet your triceps. Oh, yeah. But now, if you want to, like, focus more on your bicep, you can get a chin up bar and do some chin ups. And I'll make a video on how to do chin ups, but, you know, if you, be, you know, if you know how to do chin ups, then do them. You can add them to this workout. I recommend not going to 10, I recommend just going to failure, really. But again, if you watch this, can't do 10, so I'm not going to give you all a specific number. Just go to failure. And the way to talk to progress thing is you should keep count and push yourself to do one more. Same thing with this, if you want to, you should make a list um, how many like regular push-ups you can do. And then if you modify it, then the next day you try to beat it. You can do this one routine every day. Now we're going to do some diamond push-ups. Put your hands the sign of a diamond. You, the closer they are, the harder it is. More tension on the wrist, so they get your forearms and more. But this <coughs> I'm dropping. See? I drop down so I can continue it. 
Well, there is you can do four or five rounds of that. And you can do it as a warm up. Me, when I go to the gym, I always do it. I'm on a pretty warm up, no matter what I'm working, I'm getting a lower body. But I'm currently on, I'm working about six days a week now. I'm my day one Monday, and my own Tuesday, because they start on day one, is just trying to bag. Today is going to be bicep bag, more of like shoulder bag, a piece of process. Monday will be my jogging day. So You can do this every day. Now, if you're warming up, I want to do two or three rounds, maybe one. But this routine is a good routine to do when you don't have a lot of time. You don't got that much equipment because the only thing you need, the most you are actually ever going to need is a pull bar. Now, if you want to make it harder on you, you can add weight to your back or have somebody put some pressure on your back. Yeah, well, I'll see you guys later.